Fritz Perls, Wikipedia Audio Friedrich Salomon Perls, better known as Fritz Perls, was a noted German-born psychiatrist and psychotherapist. Perls coined the term Gestalt therapy to identify the form of psychotherapy that he developed with his wife, Laura Perls, in the 1940s and 1950s. Perls became associated with the E. Salen Institute in 1964, and he lived there until 1969. His approach to psychotherapy is related to, but not identical to, Gestalt psychology, and it is different from Gestalt theoretical psychotherapy. The core of the Gestalt therapy process is enhanced awareness of sensation, perception, bodily feelings, emotion, and behavior, in the present moment. Relationship is emphasized, along with contact between the self, its environment, and the other. Fritz Perls was born in Berlin, Germany, in 1893. Perls grew up on the Bohemian scene in Berlin, participated in Expressionism and Dadaism, and experienced the turning of the artistic avant-garde toward the revolutionary left. Deployment to the front line, the trauma of war, anti-Semitism, intimidation, escape, and the Holocaust are further key sources of biographical influence. Life He was expected to practice law, following his distinguished uncle Hermann Staub but instead he studied medicine. Pearls joined the German army during World War I, and spent time in the trenches. After the war in 1918 he returned to his medical studies graduating two years later, specializing in neuropsychiatry as a medical doctor, and then became an assistant to Kurt Goldstein, who worked with brain-injured soldiers. Pearls gravitated toward psychoanalysis. In 1927 Fritz Perls became a member of Wilhelm Reich's Technical Seminars in Vienna. Reich's concept of character analysis influenced Perls to a large extent. And in 1930 Reich became Perls' supervising senior analyst in Berlin. In 1930 Fritz Perls married Laura Perls, and they had two children together, Renata and Stephen. In 1933, soon after the Hitler regime came to power, being of Jewish descent, and because of their anti-fascist political activities in the time before, Fritz Perls, Laura, and their eldest child Renata fled to the Netherlands, and one year later they emigrated to South Africa, where Fritz Perls started a psychoanalytic training institute. In 1936 he had a brief and unsatisfactory meeting with Freud. In 1942 Fritz Perls joined the South African Army, and he served as an army psychiatrist with the rank of captain until 1946. While in South Africa, Perls was influenced by the holism of Jan Smuts. During this period Fritz Perls wrote his first book, Ego, Hunger, and Aggression. Laura Perls wrote two chapters of the book, although when it was republished in the United States she was not given any recognition for her work. Fritz and Laura Perls left South Africa in 1946 and ended up in New York City, where Fritz Perls worked briefly with Karen Horney and Wilhelm Reich. After living through a peripatetic episode, during which he lived in Montreal and served as a cruise ship psychiatrist, Pearls finally settled in Manhattan. Pearls wrote his second book with the assistance of New York intellectual and author, Paul Goodman, who drafted the theoretical second part of the book based upon Pearls' handwritten notes. Pearls and Goodman were influenced by the work of Kurt Lewin and Otto Rank. Along with the experiential first part, written with Ralph Hefferlein, the book was entitled Gestalt Therapy and published in 1951. Thereafter, 
Fritz and Laura Pearls started the first Gestalt Institute in their Manhattan apartment. Fritz Pearls began traveling throughout the United States in order to conduct Gestalt workshops and training. In 1960 Fritz Pearls left Laura Pearls behind in Manhattan and moved to Los Angeles, where he practiced in conjunction with Jim Simkin. He started to offer workshops at E. Salen Institute in Big Sur, California, in 1963. Pearls became interested in Zen during this period, and incorporated the idea of Mini Satori into his practice. He also traveled to Japan, where he stayed in a Zen monastery. Eventually, he settled at E. Salen, and even built a house on the grounds. One of his students at E. Salen was Dick Price, who developed Gestalt practice, based in large part upon what he learned from Pearls. At E. Salen, Pearls collaborated with Ida Rolf, founder of Rolfing Structural Integration, to address the relationship between the mind and the body. Pearls has been widely cited outside the realm of psychotherapy for a quotation often described as the Gestalt prayer. Criticism I do my thing and you do your thing. I am not in this world to live up to your expectations, and you are not in this world to live up to mine, you are you, and I am I, and if by chance we find each other, it's beautiful, if not, it can't be helped. In 1969 Pearls left E. Salen and started a Gestalt community at Lake Cowichan on Vancouver Island, Canada. Fritz Pearls died of heart failure in Chicago, on March 14, 1970, after heart surgery at the Louis A. Weiss Memorial Hospital. Pearl's approach to therapy has been strongly criticized by Jeffrey Masson. Masson allows Pearl's words to speak for themselves, quoting from his autobiography, In and Out the Garbage Pail, to show that Pearl's was sexist and abusive. For example, I got her down again and said, gasping, I've beaten up more than one bitch in my life. Then she got up threw her arms around me, Fritz, I love you. Apparently she finally got what, all her life, she was asking for, and there are thousands of women like her in the States. Provoking and tantalizing, bitching, irritating their husbands and never getting their spanking. You don't have to be a Parisian prostitute to need that so as to respect your man. Bibliography